Hey people, welcome back to yet another session of Your Doubts, My Solutions. So, let's see who asked us doubt today and whose doubt we are going to solve today. And this question which they asked is also an important question and most confusing question. So, let's see it. Anas Fatima has asked us a doubt. I have a doubt in trigonometry. If cosecant theta plus cot theta is k, what is given to you? Cosecant theta plus cot theta is given as k. Then write all trigonometric ratios at theta in terms of k. Okay. So all trigonometric ratios means they are asking you to write sine uh, tan cosecant cot secant. So all all the ratios you will have to write. Okay. And did I miss any cos? Okay, all the six ratios you'll have to write. So see here, if cosecant theta minus cot theta is k, always remember we have three identities. What are the three identities? We know cos square theta plus sine square theta is one. Those who have seen my concept video, I told you the trick of how to remember the identities also. So anyway, strategy plan is given to you for maths. So in that again, I will be taking up all the concepts with important questions. Okay, cos square theta plus sine square theta is one. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1 and secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1. So, this is what we know. Out of which, out of which you see this identity has cosecant and cot and the given question also has cosecant and cot. Clear? So, what we are going to do is we are going to take the identity. We know cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. How did I take this? Because the given question has cosecant and cot and the identity also has cosecant and cot. So, I have chosen out of three, I have chosen the second identity. Now, this is like a square minus b square. So, can I write it as a plus b, okay, into a minus b. We know we have an identity a square minus b square is equals to a plus b into a minus b. So, cosecant plus cot into cosecant minus cot. But you know cosecant plus cot is k given to you in the question. So, this is cosecant theta minus cot theta equals to 1. Now, cosecant theta minus cot theta value, I will get it as 1 by k. k is in multiplication here. Transposing to other side, it will be division. Okay. So, till here is it clear? So, I got it is given cosecant theta plus cot theta is given as k. And we got, see this, this is what we got. We got cosecant theta minus cot theta, you got it as 1 by k. So, if I solve these two, if I try to solve these two, cot theta minus cot theta gets cancelled and cosecant theta plus cosecant theta is 2 cosecant theta is equals to k plus 1 by k. Okay, k plus 1 by k. Now, 2 cosecant theta is equals to, I can write this as, if I take LCM, this will be k into k k square plus 1 by k. 2 you send it to the other side so that you will get cosecant value. So, cosecant equals to k square plus 1. 2 is in multiplication here. Transposing to the other side, it goes into division. So, this is cosecant square, cosecant theta value I got. Now, you know that cosecant theta plus cot theta equals to k. That is what is given to us. See, this is same like pair of linear equations. You solve x plus y, x plus y equal to 2, x minus y equal to 3. You solve it, you will get x value. And then you substitute x value here in the equation, you get y value, isn't it? Do you remember pair of linear equation? The same concept here also. So, I solved it, I got cosecant value. Now, I am substituting cosecant value. Let me substitute this cosecant value here. So, k square plus 1 by 2k plus cot theta will be equal to k. So, from this cot theta value will be equal to k. Now, this entire term, if I take it to the other side, it will become minus, okay. So, minus k square plus 1 by 2k. So, if I take LCM, so k into 2k will be 2k square minus k square plus 1 whole divided by LCM will be 2k. Now, this 2k square minus k square is k square plus 1 by 2k. So, I got cot theta value as k square plus 1 by 2k. 
is it clear till here okay so from what is given we got cosecant theta value and we got cot theta value but we know that we know that we know sin theta is the reciprocal of cosecant theta isn't it so if sin cosecant theta is k square plus 1 by 2k reciprocal of that is sin theta so 2k by k square plus 1 this will be sin theta understood and we know tan is the reciprocal of cot okay tan is the reciprocal of cot if cot theta is k square plus 1 by 2k reciprocal it so 2k by k square plus 1 this will be tan theta okay both we got same answer Okay, here you see, here you see, that's what I was thinking, how both sin theta, uh, cosecant and cot, you got the same value, k square plus 1 by 2k, k square plus 1 by 2k, actually, here you just have a look now, cot theta equals to k minus k square plus 1 by 2k, here actually we have to keep a bracket, okay, so this minus sign is for the entire k square plus 1, yes or no? minus sign is for the entire k square plus 1 so this become minus k square and here this is not plus 1 it will become minus 1 okay so that's a mistake so 2k square minus k square minus 1 so it will be k square minus 1 okay and then tan theta will be reciprocal of that so it will be 2k by k square minus 1 clear till here then what we have to find, I got sine, I got cosecant, I got cot and tan. What is remaining? Cos is remaining, see, cos is remaining. So how can I get cos theta? I know, let me take a new slide. I know from, you can use identity, okay, here you can use identity or you can use, you know, tan theta equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. So what is cos theta? It will be sine theta divided by tan theta. So sine theta is 2k by k square plus 1 whole divided by tan theta is 2k by k square minus 1. So this, this is one fraction over the other. So this first fraction remains the same. The second fraction, the denominator will reciprocal. So you will have k square minus 1 by 2k. 2k 2k cancels so cos theta will be k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 this is cos theta if cos theta is this then what about secant theta you know secant is 1 by cos so secant will be equal to reciprocal of cos so k square plus 1 by k square minus 1 now this is one method which we which i have done completely using identity the second method is after you find sine theta till here you will do same after you find sine theta, what you can do is you can take your Pythagoras theorem. Let me show you here. Whichever is easy, you can use that. So, if this is theta, so sine theta is opposite by, this is opposite by hypotenuse, isn't it? So, opposite side of theta, this side, I can take it as 2k and this hypotenuse is k square plus 1. Using Pythagoras theorem, okay, if you take, this is x, okay, so 2k whole square plus x square equals to k square plus 1 whole square. So, solving this, you will get x value as k square minus 1. Okay. Now, once you get this, all the three sides are there. So, directly you can write cot theta is nothing but adjacent by opposite. Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So, you will get the same values again. So, you can use Pythagoras theorem method. This is method 2. Or you can use this method which I have done using solving the given equations and then taking the relations between the t ratios okay so i hope it is clear please please watch the video once again it will be a little confusing so watch it once again just note it down so that everything will be clear for you okay max just listening will not work out just note it down whatever i told you analyze both the methods so whichever is easy for you you can follow that method anas i hope this video helped you and everyone else also those who have doubts you can send me your questions in the comment box so one by one i am taking your doubts 
okay so definitely your turn will come and do like the video so that you know i i get motivated to do more doubt solving sessions for you do like it and share it with your friends as well okay and watching the doubts will make you perfect with the you know uh things which your friends are learning and you can also get new get to learn new questions so do subscribe to the channel and lot many important videos we uploaded strategy videos for your physics and maths do check it out okay so i'll see you all in the next class bye bye take care